Hello, family and friends. I uh, want to give you a little update what has happened and what will happen. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody from the bottom of our hearts. You guys have been amazing. I mean, we could not have done this without you. The prayers are unbelievable. We feel it in every square of our bodies and the refugees and my team and everybody. So thank you so much and keep on praying, especially right now. So basically, we have established in Poland, we have a team of, uh, of, of amazing people, our friends, our close friends, our dear family that's been working with us in Ukraine, but then they moved long to, uh, quite a bit some time ago and started living in Poland. Now that we join forces for the glory of God, they're traveling back and forth from the border, picking up refugees and setting them up. And we'll show you pictures and what's happening. So God is good. At the same time, we're mobilizing everybody we know in Europe to get supplies of any kind military helmets, uh, vests, boots, anything we could do. We're trying to get, and we're, God is good. We're being blessed. I mean, things are happening miraculously. We're loading, um, in a couple of days, uh, we'll, be, we'll have a, a full truckload of humanitarian aid that's going to go into Ukraine. Uh, so God is so good. Thank you so much. Please continue praying and supporting us financially so we can move forward. On the other hand, in the Western Ukraine, we got a team of amazing volunteers they love God and love people. Therefore, we have converted our house, I might have mentioned already, into a refugee camp and a refugee place. We have rented another house. We have converted our office into a refugee. We rented a camp that some of you might have been part of that we did, the Christian kid English camps. So we took over the entire camp. We're housing, um, uh, we're housing refugees and they keep on coming. It's very difficult right now to get to the uh, Western Ukraine because there's, it takes, uh, usually about it takes about six hours to get from Kiev. With, that, with normal driving, it takes people about 24 hours, 18, 24 hours to get to Ukraine because it's just, it's a mess. So we ask for your help again and again. Please continue to pray with that. We have an amazing uh, restaurant, local restaurant. Uh, it's called Mamant. And he's amazing. The owner is feeding everybody. He's not charging anything. God is so good. People mobilized of Ukraine because it's live or die for us. So... I'm so thankful for all of you that you could be part of this. Every dollar, every penny counts. We cannot do it without it. And it's the heart that's behind the amount. It's never the amount. So we ask you from the deepest parts of our heart, please ask anybody you can. Talk to anybody you can. not Make this visible. Have people care and ask people to support us. We cannot do this without you. We need the entire world to stop this evil. Please, we beg you, join us to make a difference and to stop the war. God bless.